Oh, thanks for letting me in. I couldn't have done it without you. I really couldn't. Ah, please. I fought gods. Even in your deepest, wettest dreams, you are no god. I hope you appreciate the twist. I spent some time orchestrating it. I mean, it's what I'm known for, my long cons. They've written sagas about it. Maybe they'll write another one about this. But, you know, probably not. Your kind is always looking for villains. So much better to have something, someone, to fight than face the reality of it. That what you're fighting isn't physical, it isn't even metaphysical. It's an idea made real. You can't shoot fireballs at an idea. Ideas are like viruses, invisible, all-pervasive, invincible. I was a convenient villain because I questioned their authority, questioned the very foundation of our society. They banished me because they feared me, feared my ideas. They feared what I could become, an end to their rule, a new beginning. But they made a terrible mistake by sending me away. I've been spreading the virus for a long, long time. And now, now the infection is complete. What is it they say? Dark days are coming, but no, no, they're right here. This, my silent friend, is an engine. Lovely, isn't it? It's not often you get to see one up close, or at all. The gods themselves would love to get their hands on one of these pretty things. They keep the world turning, hmm? quite literally. But they also do other things. You'll see what I mean. And Yggdrasil shudders and groans. Here we go, all father, the final destiny of the gods. On my terms, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> 